Uh, thank you, Elise. You know, I want to start by first thanking the House Republican leadership, you know, uh, Whip Scalise and Chairwoman uh, Stefanik, who are just down uh, at, at the border in Eagle Pass. Eagle Pass isn't an easy place to get to. Uh, Leader McCarthy was there as well. We, we had a delegation of 10 folks. Chip, Chip Roy, Congressman Roy was there as well. Many trips we have taken to the border. I, I wanna thank the, the leadership because we're talking about the border. Because in my district, we feel it every single day. And a lot of times, people will come up to Washington and they will whine. They will complain about all the things that are wrong and they will blame it on the White House. They blame it on Trump or someone else. We're not doing that. You know, uh, Congress is an equal branch of government and we have a plan. And this isn't a Republican issue, it isn't a Democrat issue, it's an American issue and it starts right here in Congress. It starts right here in the House of Rep Representatives. And I think it starts by keeping Title 42 around. We're gonna see, you know, how committed are the Democrats to ensuring Title 42 stays around? What happens if Title 42 goes away? This is what happens. In my district, this weekend it was 102 degrees. Imagine being smuggled in a trunk and having to travel hundreds of, of miles in a trunk, 100, 102 degrees. Imagine being smuggled in a, in a train boxcar, right? People, the, these, these folks that are coming over illegally are being treated like cattle. And they shouldn't be a political football. This should be about one thing. It should be about helping the American people, ensuring that our border is safe. And that starts here in Congress, not the White House. The, this is the people's house, not Pelosi. It starts here in Congress. And it'll be interesting to see, will House Democrats join the House Republicans to ensure that Title 42 stays around because a lot is at stake. 